Welcome to Tina Vodak Shop. Let me tell you what we're gonna do today. So today we are going to visit the silk effect I did a while back. And for this lesson, we are going to use texture effects gel. Let me write in my website. So my website is at www. Tinovo.shop and I will add in customer service. Her name is Kyla. Her phone number is 417-772-4020. I pinned it right in the bottom. I will connect myself. Go Tino. Now? Easy breezy, yes. All right, everyone. Let's get started. So today it's gonna be stilettos. We're gonna do stiletto today. Right here. Let's flip it over. Uh, Alright. And let's take our texture of fixed shells. And today, I am going to use black, okay? But you can use white too. There is a difference between black and white. So this is black. This is white. You see the, the depth? So white is lighter than black, okay? So I'm going to use black today because I want a little deeper. But you can use white too if you want. All right. Now... Let's black out. Now, first, let's go ahead and paint this, this nude. I'm going to chew cream nude today. Hi, Tia Deb. Hola, Tia Deb. How are you? Come on, stars. Hello, everyone. Oh. We're never going to get cookies and ham and goodies and stuff. No. I, it, we don't it, make her now. It is. That's what I say. You're not good in your Spanish. <laughs> oh. Tia Deb. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, stars. All right. Gosh. Fine. Okay, wait. I'm taking the wrong nails. Oh, no. This index. The station goes on hip hop radio. All kinds of music. Okay. All over us. Last time I did this, it's a coffin. So now I'm going to do it in stiletto. Mm -hmm. A little more about up here. Look at this. Index, ring, pinky. Hola, Maria. Hi, love in 313. Let's do two coats. Since the nail is uh, C2, we're going to do two coats. But if you do it on natural nail, get this. You only need one coat. By the way, this morning, I just uh, upload about six or seven live on YouTube. <clears throat> this morning. Mm -hmm. Is that what you were doing while you were neglecting me? Yes. Like you sit there all quiet? And... Yes, exactly. That is exactly what I'm doing. Good news for everybody, except for me. Although you did fix a mean dinner last night, so. I know. Uh, Marie Ann, for some reason, um, I'm having trouble loading up everything, all of your work you've been doing. Get this. Make sure you post on your story so he can repost it. Oh, she, she's been. Oh, okay. She's, it's glitchy for some reason. Uh oh. Okay, all the way through. This is the second coat. 
Good morning, Preston Powerful. Yeah. Oh, I like that name, Preston Powerful. Okay, I need a paper task. Good afternoon, Dale. Oh, what's today's thing? I... Today, today, I'm we're doing silk textures. Silk textures. Uh huh. Using texture effect gels, and we are doing black texture effect gels. Here this. But you can always do white. See, this is a difference between black and white. Okay, so let me zoom in. Show you. So Z is white, Z is black, so it's deeper. Okay, so it just depend on you. Since the background is gonna be light nude, then I I want black instead. Good morning, JD. All right. Now on a now, you can apply some shiny top coat on. And you can even do matte if you want to. Let's see. Let's start out with matte. Just a top coat. Just something on the nail. Matte will help it glide easier. Hear this. We need to take a class in Brazil. Oh. Ooh, what do they got to offer? All right. Got to be one hell of an offer to make us travel. They said take a class, not, not, not teach. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Now, I am going to save this for later. I'm going to do texture on this. I am going to start out with one full nails. Good okay. morning, Frosty. So, this is, if you look down the bottom, it's texture effect, completely non cell level. I am going to take our flat brush. One scoop, and go ahead and slap it on. Make sure it's not too thick, because then it's going to be difficult for you to move gel around. It's gonna move very easy if it's too thick. So to prevent it from collapsing on you, make sure it's not too thick, but not too thin either, just enough. Oh, good, honey. The anxious nail tech just came in. Hello, anxious nail techs. After the incident the other night, I thought, you know, if we don't see her on here, she made me outside. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Stockton um uh event. The good stock though. Right, right. We're not saying it's bad. All right, leave it here just for a little bit. Now uh usually I do texture using engraver. Today I'm using brush just because the pattern is fluid. Brush will be easy for me. Make sure that you have the paper towel right underneath. Okay. Now, what I do is I'm going to make a sway pattern. Okay, make sure I wipe out my brush. Good morning, Miss Davis. Okay, that's a little heavier on the gels. And you see my hand. Whenever I make a stroke, so you see all these gels, I make sure that it's wiped up so it's clean. Therefore, it will make it easier for me. Crazy Fe uh, lethal attraction, um, uh, fatal attraction, fatal attraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what is this you are using? Texture effect gel. Uh, yes, uh, they ship to Brazil. Yes. And don't worry, after I'm done with this pattern, I will draw it out so you can see. Here it is. All right, let's try it out so you can see. Today's inspo is sexy satin. All right, Simple now. Silk. silk textures. Silk texture. Now, I am going to try it out so you can see, okay? So this is a surface of the nail. Basically, I paint it all over with texture effects, and this is how I go. I sway. The pattern is like this, okay? But don't try to make the spacing even. You just go all over because it's silky all over. It don't have to be even, okay? And basically, it will make... Um, Hill and valley, basically. So hill are the part that are on top, the highest ground. And valley is this engraving line right here is lowest. So I call it valley, okay? So it's a series of hill and valley. So why don't I take in gel and paint a little line on the nail? Why do I carve it out like this? Okay, so if this is a nail surface, if I were to take a line and draw a little line right here, okay, what happened is I'm drawing the little hill, okay, because it's highest. But what happened is the valley, the spacing of the valley is too big. It doesn't matter how close you put it, it's going to be too big. But when I carve in with a brush, the valley is like hairline. That's what makes the beauty of that. Okay, so make sure you understand now, I am going to use chrome to chrome this. I'm going to use a series of different colors. So I'm going to start out with purple chrome. And then this is ultramarine. And this is blue. This is teal. Oh, I'm sorry, turquoise. This is emerald. It's green. And then last but not least is gold. So normally, um, you don't have to do this much colors. Uh, normally, last, um, not last year, but two years ago when I do in silk textures, I play with purple and I play with green, blue, green, and this, actually this blue. That is the color that I played with before, from purple to blue to green to gold. But I'm adding this in just to create a little more gradient in it. All right. Now I'm going to open the lid for each. Make sure I leave the lid in the right order so later on I'm not confused. If you um put it on the wrong lid, it's okay. It's just that. Sometimes there's uh, chrome on the lid. I don't want to mix it. Okay, so let's put the lid right here. Although you can mix chromes. Now I am going to choose purple first. Paper towel. Ready? Let's start on the top and work our way down. Purple first.
purple right here and slightly dab it just so it's softened out then I'm gonna put in my blue dab into that space and start rubbing it just like this and then see at the end here you dab it out just to make sure that the edge is softened now I'm adding this blue right here so before that was an ultramarine color now I'm using a blue blue rub it in and tap it out to soften this edge just a little bit. Now, using teal, uh, turquoise. I always confuse, um, I always call this teal for some reason. I'm using turquoise. Dap it in. Now, wrap it out. And light tap. just to soften up the edge. Then move on to cream. That's Tap it in, there. thank you. Like an emerald green, almost like an emerald green. Close, like between a leaf green and an emerald green. Just the fact that it's chrome, that's why I like it. Mm. Now go. Tap it in, rub it out, and rub all the way down, and give it one more light. Let's clean this and then just rub it all over. Just like that. Now, do you see the part where I en I engrave it? You see that line? That is a hairline right there. The lowest part, the 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 valley. Okay, that is really thin, like hairline. So, if you were to take gel and draw a little line, little hill, then what happened is the spacing. It wouldn't be hairline. It would be bigger. Bigger. Mm -hmm. Then people are like, oh, that's so easy. We just draw it. But this leave a mystery for people to like, what is it? Is it a, a, a stickers? What is it? So that is the beauty of it. Now, now I am go going to continue. This, this, and this needs to be chrome free because I am going to rub chrome on it. Um, the line is very intricate because look at this line. So I am not going to try to dodge it when I'm chroming it. So what happened is I'm going to make the nude completely chrome free. All of this. Now, I am going to apply sand it and then I'm going to buff it. I need a new bond. Can you throw this away? Yep. And since, since it's nude and it's not white, you can actually buff this nude. I just don't want to uh, buff on color often. Sometimes I do, but it's better to protect the color first. So top coat all over. Yeah, 60 seconds, then move on to these two now. When I top coat and buff, I prefer to use a no white top coat, shiny. Because when you buff it, you will know which part you already buffed, which part is still shiny. But if you you matte, then you're not going to know which part you already buffed and which part ha you haven't buffed. Let's 
some dots right here. Here it is. Now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna buff it. Leave all my chrome away so dust doesn't get on it. I'm gonna buff this once in camera and then the other two I'm gonna buff it out of camera. It's difficult to buff it in the camera. And the buffer that I'm using is Tammy Taylor buffers, clean finish buffers. Tammy Taylor clean finish buffing file. See this little shiny spot right here. Make sure you take care of that. All right. These two, I'm buff it out of camera. Oh, they like that keratin. That's my note, my guys. Para todos lo que haces. Si es vinieras a la Argentina, a las espumanos en la rura, yo iría a ver tías todos el día. Oh, crap, oh. Gracias, gracias, Ruz Otero. Otero, this is mi mano, es mágicas. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Por favor, uh, puede seguir en, en uh, hola, hola, uh, Beauty Room, Riveras. So pretty, thank you, electrical design. Okay, now this one too. Let's go. Oh, oh good. Happy be now. You change your profiles. Oh, habla español. Oh, um, puedo, puedo hablo español, pero no entiendes. <laughs> no entiendes más. <laughs> entiendes poquito español. Uh, <laughs> so you just told me in Spanish that you don't know Spanish. Is that what you said? I, I say I can speak, uh, I can read. Spanish, uh -huh. but I don't understand much. But I can understand the general idea. Like my guy is magical, obviously. <laughs> All right. Now let's you take your effect to design these. Hola, hola, spawn nails. Okay, now I'm gonna get a palette. Just in case. Hello, So I'm using the 10 millimeters and I'm gonna draw a little section where I can boot my texture effect. Um, every, every time you speak a little Spanish, uh -huh. the next 50 things are in Espanol. <laughs> Perros, uh, sos un angel, uh, te sigo mucho, te adoro. Oh, say I'm adorable. Aww. Thank you. Oh, gracias, Russo Terros. Hola, hola, Leica Nels. Bonjour, 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 Emmy Nels. Savar. Bienvenue a ti nuevo da shop. Messi do no after twelve twenty. Hola del Meco, me encanta tu trabajo. Gracias. Hola, Alex Gutierrez. Hello, everyone. Hello, Germany. Hello, hello, everyone else. Okay. I am going to take, let's take an oval brush this time. Oval brush.
Okay. No. Ah, oh, and you forgot. Brush it over. Now make sure not to take, not to take. Because if you do take, then you're going to be pushing gel around, and gel is still a form of liquid. If it, you push it around, it's going to be heavy. It might collapse on you. So you might have to engrave back and forth a lot. So a thinner layer will help you. But not too thin that you can see the background, you know. Just enough that you can cover it all with black. Let's do this too. I still remember when I posted this, uh, I think mm, 2021, uh, when I posted, oh my God, it go crazy. People were like, what is this? What is it? How do you do that? How do you do that? But that time I wanted to do live, yes. So I just, I, I demonstrate a show and and uh, I tell people what I use, but no one ha really have a chance to see how it works. Um, I, I, I did it uh, one or twice on Unsafe Live. This is the first time where I actually would save it. And don't worry about making it smooth neither. We do in textures. Sometimes if you see some clear in your gel, you make sure that you mix all of it up. That was a nice stir job. Oh, thank you. I got a lot of practice. <laughs> What is your native language? My native language is Vietnamese. I speak Vietnamese, um, English. I learned English to watching Will and Grace, how I learned English. Um, Spanish, I take a uh, course in high school, uh, but of course that is like a long time ago, 10 year plus. I'm, I'm still 21 by the way, uh, but 10 year plus. And um, so I remember the structure, but uh, I, I have lost uh, my ability to speak uh, Spanish really good, but I still can I still can read it, and I still can say my understand what people say. Uh, my vocabulary is not enough for me to make a decent conversation, but that is just a matter of time before I pick it up again. All I need to do is study if I have time to. I'm very good with language, so I can study really fast. Um, right now, I want to learn French too on the side because we got a lot of fan from uh, from a lot of fan from France someday we, go there. someday we may go to France I mean someday we will go to France let's let's put it that way yes But that's the nation going to be Paris, of course. All right, now. Okay, I am ready to engrave. Make sure my brush is clean. Let's clean my glove a little bit. I love to wear glove when I work with texture effect, by the way. Just because of the cleaning part is sometimes kind of a little messy. 
So I love to wear gloves. Okay. Now let's start. Let's start with this one. Paper towel right underneath from you. Let's start engraving. Remember what I say. Don't try too much. Uh, don't try to do a, a, a perfect spacing. This is silk texture. Just go crazy with the lines. Yeah. Flow in the same direction, but the spacing don't necessarily have to be equal. Make it like silk. See this part quite clean. Normally people will clean like this, right? But when I'm when I'm work, I usually do this. I take up my finger and I press it down and I pull it out. That's what I usually do. That's why I say I love to wear gloves because I would hate to use my my actual finger to wipe out the gels. Give you like herpes, nails herpes. So make sure that you protect your hand. <laughs> Get this. Move on to this one. Uh, don't use engraver tool. You can. But you see, this pattern is a flow pattern. It's not like a straight line. Um, it's not like a crisscross pattern like the uh, crocodile skin. So I choose brush because I can flow better than uh, the engraver that I use. Of course, uh, go on and use engraver and then use the brush just to see which one you like better, you know, because you might like the engraver better than the brush. See, it's just my reference. Preference. 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 It makes sense. Ask to learn reasons. But no, next week's reason may be something simple like the dogs got into the workshop area and carried off all the tools. That's what they do. They That's stole they from do. me. They stole from me last week. They just take it. They just see it on the table and they're like, it's mine. They take it. And then have the audacity to look at us with pigment all over themselves like they did nothing wrong. Right. They gray now. They yellow lap, but now they gray. This whole month they will gray. We're not gonna wash them. We're gonna just leave pigment on them. Just for them to to I guess. Well, I tried, I tried to wash them. Now it's down in their skin. No way. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse. It's not even cosmetic pigment, it's art pigment. It's so strong. Good morning, Mama Vic. Here it is. Somebody said earlier, it was cold and windy in California. And here we are with air conditioner on. <laughs> Makes no sense. California have the best weathers. Sunshine state, sunshine state, all year long. We got two yellow lab bull mastic mixes. Yeah, they gray now. They gray yeah, lab. Two gray labs. Yeah. Next month they'll be yellow again. Hopefully. I hope you guys like my Easter Bunny post to, uh, this morning. It's on like quadruple like. Okay. 
The only thing I didn't make the somebody came in and stole Bigman's. No, it's a dog. They stole from me. Quietly too. Quietly stole from me. And they, they don't even you see, if they stole from me, I, I will feel better. But this is like they take it like it's there. They're like, this is mine. I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. Hear this. Good morning, KS Need. Valentina. All right, let's chrome this. Mama Beck said she loves the real the bunnies. Yes. It's have like a uh, quadruple light. I count my light uh, 60, six, uh, 600 light per hour. So if it like 2,000 light per hour, then that's when they're doing really, really good. Okay. All right, let's chrome this. Where's my chrome? Purple first. Let's clean the hand just a little. Said the puppies want to be artistic like you, honey. <laughs> they got a long way to go. Oh, they try to be artistic too, all over the house. <laughs> From the bottom up. Like this. Let's do all at once. Since I already demonstrate one finger, so now let's do them all. Purple here. Dab it, dab it, dab it. Just to kind of fade out the edge. Blue, ultramarine. Oh, I, I have uh, the rest of the week up with the kid to catch up with your life. <gasps> Dedication, you know. Cause I know how busy people it when they have kids and everything. I love it. That's dedication. Blue. Now remember, the surface is chrome free. Okay, remember that. Don't forget that step. Don't forget to make it chrome free, or else you will be a little uh, upset. Now I'm gonna use blue, blue. Blue, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, blue. I have three shades in chrome. One is ultramarine, a deep blue. And one is a light blue called teal. This one right here is right in the middle, my favorite. I have it later on uh, in the years. But these are like the true blue. See, it doesn't stick on my background. Good morning, angelic vampires. Hello, angelic vampires. Okay, let's switch up the teal and green. Soothing oh. to the eight Thank you. No, not too much green because I want to leave space for the gold. So let's end the green right about here. What do you mean by chrome free? Chrome free meaning it doesn't stick on. Where you don't want it to. Right, right. Chrome free meaning no chrome. See? Come free. And now finish up with our favorite gold. 
Let's put this piece right in. Okay. Now I'll go. One, two, three, dash, and give it one final wrap to make sure everything is wrapping in. Can you? repeat how to get the chrome to not stick yes you put on top coat and then you buff it and i choose shiny top coat because when i buff shiny top coat i know where i already buff and where i haven't buffed yet but if you're a matte top coat you're not gonna know where you already buff and where you're not buff yet it's gonna be more difficult so i suggest using a shiny top coat apply on a surface for, so you can buff the top coat. You don't want to buff the colors because if you rough on uh, your buffing, then you might be very sorry for it. You might buff out the color. So you want to top coat it just to protect the color and then you buff it. And that should make it chrome free. That, I think that is a little stain right here. It's not chrome, but it's a little blue stain. Make sure I really dust it out. Okay, good. Can I ask what the difference is between shine it and no white top coat? It's the same. It's the same. Shine it is a hot gel. Um, if you ever attempt to uh, use shine it for chrome, don't because shine it is a hot gel. It's not flexible. It's not soft. It's you to finish. So your client come back so no scratch it on their nails because it's very durable and hard. However, chrome base coat, that is why you that here's chrome. So no white top coat can come in many shapes and forms. Just remember there is a softer kind of top coat that can adhere chrome very well. And there is a harder top coat that you to protect chrome. Like if you use it to protect your chrome, it's not gonna be as effective. As you use this to go on top of your chrome, it will be harder. So usually I would do one coat of base coat uh, I mean chrome base coat and then cure it and then put chrome on and then I will put on one coat of sticky and what sticky does it, it will adhere the chrome right on the surface so you're not going to have chipping at all and then cure sticky and then you apply shine it on have a smooth nice finish chrome will stay on until your client come back all right <coughs> now Next step is matte and then shine the rest, okay? Um, before we do that, um, let's say if you want some kind of extra, like little extra oomph, you are always welcome to have a few additional embossed before you are uh, top coated, okay? So if you're happy with this, then go ahead, base uh, matte and then shine over this. Um, Let's add a few extra uh, with texture effect clear. Okay, texture gel clear. You can add a few extra like this. Just a few. Don't go crazy on it. Just like one line here. Okay. If you want, totally optional. One line here. Okay, totally optional. Here, if you want. And what I would do is this line, I'm gonna chrome it different. I'm not gonna chrome blue on blue. I'm gonna have like purple so it can peek through. It's, it's kind of sporadic. Just like that. Here and there, just like that. Save this one. I haven't killed this one yet. <laughs> no, this is not for OCD. You have to, this is a carefree design. 
Dong try to Dong do a line and then a line next to it and a line next to it. No, you already have that. You just you just add just a, a couple enhancement. That's all. Just a couple. Get this. Let's put this on here and get odd ones. Get this. Get, get them on. All right. So if I want to top coat it, let's say, uh, let's say gold. Let's say to gold. Okay. And okay. So I start like from here, and then I go out a little bit past the green. So 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 it's more poppy. See that? Pass the green. And then let's say purple down here. Okay. And then finish off with a blue in the middles. That is how you touch it up. Okay. So uh, let's say I start with uh, purple. Purple will be down here. And more purple down here. And gold. Down here, fading up just like that. Up here, going down. And blue. Make it look so easy. It is so easy. Now, one thing before you top coat, you have to make sure that all dust is gone. You don't want this to be glittery, trust me. You want this to be nice chrome mirror. Definitely not glittery at all. Now, Make sure you dust truly because if there are any dust left on the surface, you may not be able to see it. But when you put top coat on, on top of chrome that have excess dust, what happens is all the excess dust, it will flow to the top of the surface of the top coat. And therefore, your chrome will be glittery, which is undesirable. You want it to look strong, nice, and bold like this. See that? Mm hmm And people will be very confused about the background. They'll be like, oh, how? It's wavy. Do you put like land over it? How many land do you put over it? It's to be all confused, which make which will earn you even more money. Anything that are look difficult to do, it earn people money. Because not everyone can do it. They have to have understanding of product. See that? Okay, now. Clean it up just a little. Need a new paper towel though. I don't have a trash can. Well, trash can over there. Ah, you moved it, baby. <sighs> I was wondering. Cut this off and get moved. Cause me. Okay, now. Clean this.
One thing that I'm not stingy on is paper towels. I am not stingy on paper towel at all. Or Aston. Or, or Aston. All right, mask and then shine. What is the best rhinestone glue to purchase from the site? Magic crystal glue. Crystal magic. All right, I'm going to apply matte over this. Leave the metal just a little bit. Or you can cover the metal if you want. Okay. This, this. Here. So basically, I want the nude to be all matte. Matte on the nude. Here. Same on here. Matte. Here. Shine on here. Another one of people concerned is <laughs> it's a pattern. Is, is it gonna disappear when I put top coat on? No, it's not. See that? Pattern even more beautiful when I put top coat on. Texture effect gels is my second edition. Uh, after my metal effect, I have this made. So this is one of the old faithful. Picture effect gels. Here, see nice and shine, no dust, no glitters. Again, in the meadows, all the way. And when you work with your client, of course, you cannot go all the way to the top because that will stick to their skin. So, So what you do is up here, you take top coat and a liner brush and you pull it up so it don't touch your client's skin. That trays around the side, side wall, your client nails. Make sure everything is protected and coated. Here it is. this too now if you want to protect your chrome if your client are rub on it and they, they're not good wearing the chrome if you want to protect it before you boot the coat up shine it on you can put one coat of sticky on here this but I will only boot sticky on the nail that have chrome near the edge near the tips because that's where it's gonna peel up because of the tips people gonna scratch and it can peel up right here so anything near the tip I can put a coat of sticky, but like this finger, I don't need to protect this because it's nowhere near the tip at all. It will be fine by itself. If you have like chrome lines and all that, you don't have to protect that. A line will be secure very, very good. But if you have like a whole nail chrome, then you can protect it with sticky before you will shine it on. All the way. Okay, here. Now I'm gonna touch it up with a little pixie gold, gold pixie gels. Thank you, Cat Claw. Ten millimeters still. Clean it up. Take out a palette and make sure I have pixie gel. I always get it out of my palette. I never dip it in and draw. It's it's not professional because if you dip it in, you can you can have a lot. And usually people will use the edge 
and and they will do this to make it thinner. But what happened is it's gonna it's gonna be all over the edge, and when they close the lid, it's gonna be on the lid, and sooner or later it's gonna spill out the bottles. Sometimes people tell bottles get messy, and they don't know why. I always use my palette and my art brush. All right, now I'm gonna add some gold touch into it. Let's start with this. Let's give it a little sway. Soon I'm gonna do the Chanel tweet. Also one of the technique in texture effect gels. See that? Maybe just one line. I'm gonna put some crystal right here anyway. No, let's do another line. What is today's theme? Today's uh, theme? Yeah. Silk textures. Bedazzle right here, here. Hi, Candy Coded. The set are so talented. Thank you. Bless nails. Hi, Dustin. What's the team today? Seal textures. Bless nails. Good morning. Ah, uh, let me see. Thank you, the nails. Gypsy. Um, Mary some Bennett and the cat coming try to eat him. <laughs> okay. You are amazing. Thank you, Linda Marie. Thank you. Okay, wait for I hate this part. I hate waiting. A minute, a minute is so long. It is. It is. Long. You know, this shirt is for the winter because it's a little hot. It's hot here. It's hot outside. Well, I'm hot already. Right. So I'm already like heating up the room. And then right. the shirt, it doesn't help. And then, honestly, the texture of that shirt makes me want to do inappropriate things to you. Right. And, and that's the whole point. That's why people wear leather. Because they want inappropriate thing done to them. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's why they wear leather. That's why leather is made in the first place. Okay. Putting all that behind it. Are you almost done? Yes. Yay. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoy the silk texture today. This set is about 250 um Minus the crystal, because until even though I make texture effect like um about two years ago, until today it's still exclusive. It's still exclusive. I don't see texture effect anywhere. So you can chart as you please on this design. Add a little crystal on that. Pop in twenty more dollars, uh, twenty more dollar for two more finger crystals or crystal here, crystal here. About thirty forty dollars, you should be good on a three hundred dollar set. Uh, Candy Cook had a question. Tino, can you yes. apply a piece of sedan, oh, saran wrap over texture effect <coughs> gel to keep it from coming since I live in, in a hot climate? Probably spilling. Oh. Do it. Do it. Yes. Do it. Try it. Oh, oh gracias. Inspiracion's nails. Thank you, Kikaros. You're welcome. Love in 313. Love fabulous and stunning. Thank you, Wendy. All right. All right. Thank you, Min. Min 21441. 
the artist for live thank you thank you what's been now dd can you code it hi isaura hello isaura muy elegante oh gracias see see i think so too i think so too i think this is elegant and um, if you ever try white okay so remember that white look like this <coughs> so this black this white okay so white will be lighter okay so, so i have a feeling you're gonna gonna you guys gonna oh, try white yes. i have a feeling you're gonna try white oh first of all it's easy to see the line uh plus the white is just a slightly thicker than the uh the black which is perfect for you too so these are white these are black see that since my background is light i choose black but you can do whatever you want to your design whatever um but if you ever try white and just just like sugar with acrylic you ever try that it's beautiful like it's like a white toga silk eventually i'm going to demonstrate it too just just white no chrome just white silk texture with a touch of gold oh my god it's so sexy and elegant i'm gonna do it later thank you the shorty city for gracias tia gracias all right so that is the show for today. Tomorrow I have another one. Tomorrow um, I have another one. I don't know what to do tomorrow. I have something. Uh, I have some idea this morning. Oh, I think of it. I think of it. All right, everyone. Mm, remind my inside of a dark clam. You know. Everyone. Yes. Everyone. Apollonia is 100% Apollonia. I oh, I need an Apollonia design. Not 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 this month. This month I'm busy with with um Easter. I'm done with Easter by the way. Um, I'm busy with Easter and then this week coming up the marijuana holiday 420. I have to do a couple of that too. Uh, and then flower next because next month is all about floral spring it's officially spring next month all uh, all the beautiful elegant floral um, whatever it is um uh, so uh abalone and texturized will be probably in june hopefully in june that's a bridal month i need to be super elegant in june and then july is a tacky holiday uh the red one blue okay. colors I, I that's my mission to make it elegant uh, I have to make this July 4 elegant. People are afraid of July 4 design. Uh, when when you Google July 4 design, it's almost pathetic. It's just like, because no one really want red, white, and blue on their nails because it's like a, it's, it's like a um, jersey, like a sport jersey color, you know, a flat mm -hmm. color. So last year, my tape is to take the theme, the pattern, and then you choose one color, like red and gold, or white and gold, or blue and gold, you know, but yeah. never together. All right, everyone, and I need to do an American Eagle. Uh, yes, no, no, no. that would be one of the late night. It's gonna be so realistic. Um, let's see. Uh, do you know, I'm gonna DM you. Mm, one of your oldies I would love to, uh, to see a new version. Absolutely, and sit nail text. Absolutely. Um, so the exit nail text say, mm, Tino, I am gonna DM you one of your old design, and I would love to see the new version. Uh, that that go for everyone. If if you have something you wanna send me, go ahead, DM me. All right, bye bye everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good day.